Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys, and guess what? We're at another storage unit here we just picked up, and we got this one really cheap. It's a 5x10, and we only paid $50 for it. That's really, really cheap. The units seem to go a lot cheaper over here than on the east side. So you know what? I'm liking that. Let's hope we can find a lot of treasures. Fingers crossed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Alright, so let's start with just pulling a few bags out. This one looks like it's mail, but we don't know if that's true or not. Until we check that is. Ooh, now see, there's coffee beans in it. You thought it was just mail? Nope, there's coffee too. But yeah, other than that, it does look like it's mail. Hey, no, it's just tape. Hey, there's a lot of tape in there. Give me this. Give me this. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Use the crap out of this stuff. So you know what? We're taking it. I don't know why. So many people keep so many waters in here, the ones that aren't like climate controlled like that. Like, you know how hot those are gonna be after being in there for a day or two? Get mm -hmm. alone weeks. It's probably gonna taste like straight plastic. It's nasty. Let's get in this one. Ooh. What do we have in here? Hey, Starbucks gift card. Oh, well. A few. Four Starbucks gift cards. Think they have money on them? Yeah, I hope so. We'll find out in just a little bit. And the rest of it looks like junk, but hey, I'll put those in my pocket. Even though I hate Starbucks, but we'll resell them. What is this? Joel Steen receipts and nothing too exciting. All right, all right, that's because you know what they do in storage units, right? You put the best stuff in the back. You put the junk in the front, because that rhymes. <laughs> okay, this bag's just paper too, so get these paper bags out the way and let's start going through some drawers. Now let's get into the first one of these plastic drawers. Oh, yay, look, empty cans. Those are what some of my favorite things. So nothing in here besides a shirt and an empty can, a remote, a book and a calendar and a book. Not exciting. Hey, come here. Oh, another smash phone, uh, ZTE. Not too sure what that brand is, but that'll go with our collection. I'll say it again, just for the case it's the first one of our videos you see. If you take broken phones that are seem useless, lot them up to like 15 to 20, you'll get 100 bucks or more all day on eBay. So lot them up and save them. Um, we got an ear loop mask, doctor mask is what I would call it. I didn't know it had a real name. Socks. Oh, this looks more interesting. Been there series across the globe. Empty. Oh, there's a mug in the whole Navy bag. I wonder if that's just a Starbucks flexible mug or something. It is. That. Yeah, look, Starbucks. 2007 Starbucks mug. That could have some value. People are not just fans of Starbucks, they're kind of scarily obsessed with Starbucks, so. Does that fit in there? It doesn't look like it doesn't. Mm, no. We'll see. What else do we got in here? What is this? Ceramic tumbler. It's not in there. But hey, this might come in handy. <laughs> trash bag. Two trash bags. Thank you. I love when they like set it up prepared for us. And nothing in there, so not too many interesting things. A little ceramic mug might be worth something, but other than that, this thing doesn't have much value. But the plastic drawer itself now probably 10 to 15 bucks. So honestly, this is one of the main reasons we wanted to buy this unit because there's so many of these plastic things like this. If you buy these new, they're like $20 and we needed some for the garage, the store stuff that we're selling. Like we were saying, well, put broken phones in one, put tape in one, put bubble wrap, things like that, just to keep it more organized. So we are like 50 bucks, we'll get these and then who knows what else. Pill bottles, nothing else exciting. Ooh, baby wipes. Yeah, it's just what I needed. Oh, no. Lies. Lies. Perfume. And another mug. It's, uh, it's from 2006. Some ceramic mugs can be collectible now, so we'll have to look these up on eBay when I'm editing. You'll, you'll probably see the prices on the screen because, you know, I'll be editing at that time. And nothing else in there. Alright. And... Christmas card, money, no. With money, no. 
So, nothing else too exciting in this one, but again, nice another thing right here, which probably would have cost us about 10 bucks. So we almost got our money back just in the drawers we wanted, and that's why we got it. Now that we got those drawers out the way, let's get into the first tote. What is that thing? Oh, like a lemonade thing, right? A Brita pitcher. I think it's supposed to filter water. Hey, it just blinked. It actually still has battery after all this time. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Um, coffee. Hangers. Every reseller's favorite thing, other than mattresses. Well, we got, don't worry, we got that too. Gina has it all. Um. Pot, what is that? Ooh, police self defense flashlight. <gasps> oh, yeah. Is this a taser, too? I think it's, yeah, a flashlight taser. Is it? Oh, um, that works. Okay. Right, yeah. too. Ooh. And cut it on. Not doing nothing. Put on taser mode? Um, it's on. <laughs> it's just gotta be on, too. Oh, that is pretty <laughs> sick. That's awesome. That, that is cool. All right, we're definitely keeping that. Let's put that. Yeah, put that um aside. Put this right here. Everything keep up there. Yeah, cool stuff goes up there. Uh, At least his unit doesn't stink. More Joel Osteen. You ever see this guy? I never know why he blinks so much. Like, <laughs> like remember they used to watch him, and every time I see him, he's always like, "Yeah, hey, let me tell you about this." And this, like, he's just like. I just want to be like, hey, relax, relax. Keep those eyes still. But other than that, guys, this looks like a bunch of just junk clothes. We got the uh, filter thing in there and a the cool taser light. Let's get this one out the way and go on to the next one. All right, it's bottom tote. Let's see. What do we have? This looks like... Paperwork again. Paperwork never exciting. Actually, oh, oh, well, I just oh. broke something in there. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm gonna get so much crap in the comments and I'm gonna laugh. All right, we got matches and paper. Oh, look at that. Is that Barbie? Mm, I don't think it's Barbie. No, but a little doll. And I don't see where it cuts on at. Oh, there you have it is. a brand on the bottom? Not that I see. Batteries must be dead. But they put it in bubble wrap, which is always a good sign usually. So we're going to put this up here with the taser. If it's in bubble wrap, that usually means personal value or real value. Let's hope it's B. So we got a radio. What else we got going on? Picture. Oh, nothing's in there. Nice picture frame. Ooh, a keyboard. It's one of these new advanced flat ones. You see it? It's really flat. What is this? Nine West. Little wallet bag. Oh, there, what is this stuff? Oh, pictures, pictures, pictures. Uh, Panera. Ugh. Oh, that's <laughs> gross. So let's put that back in there. Gotta make sure to put um, personal stuff aside. We'll look at that in just a second. Look at this blue vase. Not sure if that has any value. And look at the bottom. There's like a bunch of little like salt shaker looking things. You see those? Yeah. What are they? Vials? Chemicals? It looks like it's a vial in a vial. Let's, what are these first? Get out, get out. Um, all personal stuff. No, no gift cards or nothing like that, unfortunately. What are these? They look like vials. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Let's put that down. And there's a couple more mugs down here. Another Starbucks one. Somebody collected Starbucks stuff. Let's hope it has some value. I'm gonna guess this one might be Starbucks too. Yep. Is it? Already seen the label. Oh, uh, yep. Starbucks again. Uh, and 
It doesn't look like much else in here besides this thing. Let's see what this is. It says jewelry on top. Jewelry. Ooh, what are these? Hannah's. Harris Casino. Oh, they're casino coins. Some of them are real silver. And we have something from a beach. Hawaii. Ooh. Oh, what is that? Bank and door something. Not sure. Another coin? No, necklace. Oh, is that gold? <laughs> it's that fool's gold stuff. But that's an interesting little box. We'll set this one aside. Get this toad out of here and let's pull something else out. So we got the toad out the way and I went to pull up this bowl not thinking anything of it, but look at this. It's actually a nice piece of Pyrex, as you can see on the bottom. And can Can't you see, see that. it? Okay, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, it's Pyrex. And it's in like really good shape there. And we also got this bowl, which is not Pyrex. I don't know what it is. Um, From Miramar. Miramar. Never heard of that one. But if it's in here with the Pyrex, I'm hoping that's a decent brand we're worth a little bit too. Hmm. So I don't really know how much it goes for. All I know is I've always been told it's worth money. So we're going to set it aside and let's hope it's worth some money. So I'll just move the crock pot out the way. Good $5, $10 crock pot over there. But let's get into the bag. I like bags. I like not knowing what I'm going to get into. Oh, you troll. <laughs> troll, troll, troll. This is brand new. Christian Basics Bible. Maybe it's worth some money. I don't know. That looks like all paperwork. How fun. What's this one? Um, green Coffee Cleanse. Uh, looks like more paperwork. Oh, I just love papers. I thought papers are cool. I thought papers have money. What is that? Atomic zapper. It's a bug zapper that goes inside. I'm about to keep that. Uh, paperwork and books again. All right, guys. We're going to have to dig. Probably get this mattress out of here to get into the next tote. So we'll be right back. On second thoughts, the mattress is kind of trying to take everything with it. So we're going to clear out every little bit in front of it. Then pull it out so it don't break nothing. But... We have another one of these drawers. This is what, number three? Yeah. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, you troll. Look like gold coin. I don't like being trolled. What's in all these envelopes? Just mail. We'll definitely look into them because you just don't know sometimes. That's what we thought in the second unit we ever bought. There was about $1,000 in there. Marshmallows. Just what I wanted. I feel a little heavy. Oh. Might be the box to the phone that we found. It says is ETE it? on it. Does it? Oh, it does. You're right. There's the box of that. Oh, yes. You gotta earn these, right? We're not gonna go to details. We're not gonna go to details. <laughs> and that thing. Not too exciting, but again, number three of these. There's another one under there. We have four of them. Oh, so. We only bought it because we saw three. But it looks like we're actually gonna get four of them because look down there. We gotta get this one out. Let's see. Here it is. Let's see. Composition book. Kind of junk. What is this? Dust wipes. Definitely junk. And newspaper. Here. What is it? 28 years Fremont Festival of the Arts. Okay. From 2011. Maybe some value. Not too sure to be honest. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like just paper. So let's get this drawer thing out, but this is drawer thing number four, so <laughs> you know what? We're doing good. Now let's see what's in this weird white bucket. Looks like uh, kitchen mats or gloves. Oh, that's all kitchen stuff, isn't it? Mm, Ew. Yeah. So, nah, I don't Anything know under it? it? Not that I see. Oh, there is some stuff. Let's see what. Why are you saying? Actually, 
But I keep wondering why they save these, but I think like uh, Starbucks had a thing where if you return this, you got like a free small coffee or something. I have no, I've no, never. They never return. I hate all coffee with passion. So nothing in that one. You want to try to pull this thing out? Yeah. Let's see what, oh, it's empty. Aw. I thought it was gonna be some expensive. Uh, let's see. No, it's not empty. It's got something in it. What did somebody run a Starbucks? Like seriously? Maybe they were just obsessed with them a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they have like everything. It's getting strange. This is getting really, really strange, guys. Let's get this bag or box. I don't know why I call it a bag. Box out. It looks like not that in there. Let's see what we got. Oh, two pairs of shoes. This whole box for a pair of like Nike Comfort Slides and a pair of Skechers. <laughs> like, why do you need a box of this big? You could have put ten pairs in here. This is why you ran out of space in here. This is why it's so full. I have a feeling half of these boxes are gonna have like one or two <laughs> things in them, and we're just gonna be stuck with a lot of cardboard. But hopefully, one or two of those good things are worth a lot of money. So we got another pair of shoes here. What are these? Rokus. Rokus Pocus. All right, we're gonna take these. I'm gonna take this box, which again, is it light? It's light, but there's something in it. It's like why? Put the shoes put in there. The shoes in the box. Oh, it's a DVD player. I thought it was a PlayStation. That is a Sony DVD player, I think. All right, well, at least they put all the wires with it. It's a Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. It's a little better. So Blu-ray is like ten dollars. DVD player is like maybe five. So hey. That's well, okay, 50 bucks for this. That's 20% of our money back on a Blu-ray player. We'll take it. Let's get in that toad out, maybe? So we just put all the clothes on top over there, and we'll see what's in this tote. And Ooh, fur. Is it real fur? I don't know. You gotta check the tag. I doubt it. I feel like five below stuff. Yeah, look at that. That's not real. But I want to point out this great storage tip. Watch. You see all the clothes were on top. Look, when you push it down, I'm gonna show you this amazing trick. Some even call it magic, watch. What you do is you take the stuff and then you put it inside the tote just like this. I show them. I know, like if you get lost at any step, just let me know, we'll go over tutoring. You put it in there, I don't care if these hangers break because they're most likely not gonna sell anyway, they never do. So you go in there and now look, you can put this back in there too. And now you replace the top you've actually saved storage space. Mind blowing, isn't it? Speaking of storage hacks, you could really apply it to this. You get a whole drawer set, three drawers, and you put a strainer in one drawer. That's it. One strainer, the other drawers are empty. But like we said earlier, this is number five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, yep. Five. Number five, so five sets of drawers, but it definitely costs more than 50 bucks. You know what, I'm not complaining. So it looks like we have a Amazon Prime box back there. Okay, this one's got something in it. Is that more fire? Um, no, it's corning. corning wear. Corning wear. Okay. I'm off in pan. We can use that. We can really use that. It looks brand new. Why don't your kitchen stuff look brand new? That one doesn't, but. Oh, yeah. Cookie sheet looks okay, because they just put a foil on them anyway. Cookie sheet in yeah. the muffin pan. Hey. That's cool. This is kind of heavy duty. It's not Pyrex, but I don't know anything about corningware. So if you guys are somebody out there, I know like kitchenware stuff, let us know if this is worth anything. I think we may have just found the most exciting box yet. Look at this. Are you ready? It's a box that has a box in it, but the box has newspaper in it. Ooh, I know you're right now, you're shaking in the excitement. This is worth so much. A box in a box with newspaper in the box. Guys, that's revolutionary. So after moving three more empty boxes in an empty plastic tote, tote thing, and just, just why? Why do you store that? But we got one, at least have some weight to it. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, a box. Oh, a box. <laughs> you know, we're joking around, but hey, kitchen stuff. We would be able to use all these boxes for shipping and things like that, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Barber wear? Boring. What is this? It's hot. Oh, so you want your stuff to be all precious when you cook it. You got a little pot with flowers all That's over That's 100% a grandma pot. Oh yeah, 100%. This is the whole unit vibe giving me. With all the religious stuff, the cookware, the 
flowers, the blankets. I'm just getting that vibe all around. All right, so we've seen this plastic thing, whatever it is, looks brand new. And every time I try to move the mattress, it kind of wants to knock it down. So let's get this out so we can see what it is. What is that? There's a label on this side. All right, what does it say? It's upside down. Um, heavy duty four shelf storage unit. Hey. Hey, four it garage. Seems it's like stocking us for all our stuff, like literally. I think they got it at Lowe's for discounted for $14. That's okay. That's, That's not okay. bad. So we have a nice plastic shelf for the garage and a bunch of little storage doors. You know what? We're doing good just for ourselves. <laughs> did not we, so much resale. Yeah, value. did we get this unit just to help with our garage? I saw the plastic drawers <laughs> and I was like, I put it, it was up to $40. I put a bid at 50, uh, really thinking somebody's just gonna outbid me anyway, but then we won it for 50. So I was like, okay. All right. We'll get the drawers for 50. What should we do now? Get the Ball mattress out. Or take or the that, out. Nah, pull the tote. Let's get the tote first. Pull the tote. Let's see what we got. There's still a lot more stuff back there, though. There is. We might have to break this up. Let's see what's in here first. A moose. Look at that. A Christmas moose. With, uh, what is he? Build a bear workshop. What about this one? Coles. Nikes. With. Nothing. Why do you keep this? And we have this thing, a bunch of combs, probably with lice. No, probably not. I don't know. But this weird stuff in there. And on the bottom of it, it just looks like a bunch more paperwork, doesn't it? Yep. But I mean, some of this paperwork could have money in it. We found it before, so it's possible. But. We'll set this aside. Then I think we really need to get that freaking mattress out of the unit because it's really getting in the way of everything. So let's get that out. Now we finally got the freaking mattress out the way. Let's see what's in these totes here. Ugh. Oh boy. Awesome. Um, a vase. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Uh, what do we have in here? That one's got flowers on it, and it's a Teleflora gift. Teleflora gift? Yeah, that. I like hand painted. It does. And we have some more little cups over here. They all look like they're part of a set from, where would you think? Starbucks. Starbucks. The Starbucks collectible stuff has value. And we have a jackpot here. Ooh. I think we just found a jewelry box. Look what I got. Um, there might be jewelry in here. There very well might be. Let's see. Is this gold? Please be gold. That looks like gold, doesn't it? Let's just stuck it out. Get off, get off. Um, but I don't see any markings on it, but it looks like gold. It really does, doesn't it? Just say yes, it agreed me. <laughs> it looks like gold. I mean, it does. Can I feel it? Yeah. Um, that. Then we have this little thing. I can't usually tell by looking at it. I have to, like, feel it. It says granny on it, so now we really know we have, what we have. But it has a little cross on the bottom of it. Um, other than that... It's like, a, what do they call it, rosemary or something like that? Yeah, rosary. I rosary, yeah, I don't know, something like that. But that could be gold, it's not marked, but let's hope it is. Because there's not too much else in here, a big value that we found yet. Let's pull out that tote and see if we can keep going with the value. We got this tote out. Let's find another jewelry box with diamond rings. Oh, DVDs. Oh, they even got Blockbuster stickers. They've been in here for a while. What is this? Say, says that Harry David something. Harry David. David stuffing so Harry. Box. A box in a box. Ooh. Jewelry. Um, I don't think that's gonna be real, but you never know. Fashion jewelry still sells, just that a very very small fraction of what real jewelry sells for. Oops. So we have a bunch of DVDs here. Put them aside. A uh, hair dryer, a uh, Christmas mug. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Another Bible. 
I always check, guys. I say this every time. People always say, people put money in Bibles. I've cleaned out, we probably cleaned close to 200 storage units now and never found money in the Bible. But I'll still check. Other books. Uh, more DVDs, Blu rays. Nothing too great in there, but it's a decent tote. For probably $15. So we're going to keep going through it, but we realized we already hit 25 minutes. I don't like the videos to go over 25 minutes. So we're going to have to cut it here, but come back tomorrow and you'll see what else is in this unit. And guys, I think it's going to get a lot better than this. So, peace. Oh, cards. Ooh. Oh, is that, is that real? No way. Look at that. Is it gold?